what's going on guys welcome back it's your boy calypso bringing you guys an update on the display tank so you guys can see how everything is doing even though some of the corals right now are a little bit pissed off why they are pissed off well two days ago i decided there was time to clean the sump and as you guys can see sump is clean and basically I wanted to remove all the detritus build up in the bottom of the uh, sump and also change my miracle mud that I had that miracle mud in the air. I believe it was about seven months. So I went ahead and purchased the carib sea mineral mud and replaced the miracle mud from bulk risk supply with that one. Um, I don't know much about the carib C1, but I decided just to go with that one since it was um, right around the corner. Um, exactly in the store that I always go to. It was right there for a good price, so I decided to use that one. Uh, one thing I noticed once I did that, I also did a small water change. My Akins, as you guys can see, they doing good, but they closed down a little bit. And they been like that since. But everything seems to be doing okay everything else is just as vibrant like always even though today <laughs> i had an issue with the tank um i'm always moving corals back and forth through the frag tank and in one of those corals it was a snail i saw it but i said well, you know what let's leave it in there so it could clean the frags and the snail decided to go where inside the overflow and you guys know in my frag tent i have a pvc overflow as using as an overflow and the snail went in there and let me tell you i received a call today that my son was running dry so i came rushing to the house lucky for me i had already water made up um and you know i came in and filled the sun back up um i don't know exactly how long it was running dry but the shader was still wet, so I believe it just happened in, in around that hour when they called me. Um, the only thing I was worried about it was because my hour water uh, also was running dry. All that water that I had in the hour container right here went inside the sump, so my solidity um, did drop. Um, I was running my tank with 1.025. Right now the tank is at 1.02. 22 or 23 i believe but that happened at noon time and coral seems to be doing okay everything still looked the same as uh, you guys can see here everybody's doing good i don't see no issues the aiken still look the same way and pretty much everything is good that that's a good sign um i did out of here my dandruff it's not doing good. I don't see it doing that great yet. Um, maybe because, you know, it's just getting, a, a, um, getting adjusted to the tank and to the levels in this tank. They're a little bit higher than the frag tank. I mean, than the Twin Cities. So that's probably why I should have acclimated. I didn't acclimate it. So hopefully it won't die and it's going to come back. You can still see the whiskers right there in the top of the mouth so hopefully it's doing okay and here i got this frag of my green slimer i had i end up fragging it because the other piece is not doing good and that little branch that was um poking out to the side that was the only piece that was doing better so i decided you know what is the rest of the colony sick let me just say the part that was doing good so hopefully this little guy right here it's gonna come back and grow to be a nice size colony that's my hopes um, I also added this new rock of souls uh, I I got it for a great price you guys can see it's a bunch of beautiful 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 size saws is some um, critters I don't know what exactly it is it looked like a two sponge in there. I posted some pictures on Instagram. So if, if anybody can ID what is in this um, rocks, um, Zoa rock, let me know. Is it, They look like, like two sponge. So hopefully that's what it is. It's nothing that's going to harm the tank. But they have a moon, so they're just stationary. So hopefully 
you know, it just add a little bit of color to the tank instead of, you know, doing damage to the tank. I also added a gunny pour. So this is the second time I own one. The first one I had, I wasn't keeping with my levels. It closed down on me and it never opened back up. So I gave it to a friend. So I really don't know what happened to it. If it ever came back out or not. But this one, um, I think the flow inside this tank is a little bit strong for it. Um, when I saw it in, at the store, it was um, open a little bit stretched out. Uh, the, the pilot was stretched a little more than this one right now. But it seems to love this, the, where it's at right now. So um, I had it in December and December wasn't opening completely. So that spot right there, it seems to corals like in that spot, even my frog spawn. If you guys can see, the heads are growing bigger now. So hopefully, hopefully, I managed to keep Froxman now because I at one point I thought that we we're gonna die. So my Soa Mountain slash SPS Mountain is doing really good. If you guys can see some of the pieces that I glued from my frag tank, I added my um, Fruit Loops. I also got there the Blue Hornets. Um, some uh, I don't I don't know watermelons and the eagle eyes. Um, the green eyes still don't know what it is. But every, and then the bam bands of course. Those are Mike Lemon bam bands. Thank you, Mike Lemon. They do really good. Um, those that those frags you gave me they just amazing. I look all the ones I got now. So I fracked those two. Then I got one right here in the nano. And I still got the main colony you gave me right here. So that coral is beautiful and it grows really fast. So over here, I added that yellow one. I don't know exactly what it is. So, but it's beautiful. <laughs> All I know, I just added that yellow one there so it could get some color to that alleyway. So, but like I said, man, even though I, I, I'm going through certain issues with the tank, everything seems to be doing really good. So that's a good sign. So hopefully nothing major is going to happen. I'm just going to let water evaporate so my salinity go up a little more. I want it at least in 1.0 to 4, 1.025 and keep it there for now. Um, but so, coral seems to be loving right now the tank. So even in the frag tank, everything is doing good. Everything is open as you guys can see. Everything, everything is doing really good. So hopefully the accident that happened earlier is no big issue for the tank. So nothing, guys. Let me know what you guys think about how the tank is looking now for you guys. If you guys like it better than before. All I know, it look more full of colors. Um, I just need to add some colors where the SPS are growing. And I think I got an idea what I'm going to add to there. So, but let me know what you guys think. Now that the tank is clean, no fracks in the, in the sand bed, the tank is doing way better. Way better, more flow going through the tank now. So, that's a good thing. All right, guys. So, this is it for this video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy my tank. If you guys got any suggestions, any corals you guys would love to see in this tank, let me know in the comment section below. Any suggestion, also leave it in the comments. And I appreciate it so much. All right, guys. So like always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. On your way out, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post another video. And like always, I see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Calypso is out. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.